So in this question, we have a parallelogram ABCD. So before writing how to label it, as I have read it already, I know there is one information given that uh, the angle A and C are obtuse angle. So we have to make sure that the angle A and C are obtuse. As you can see, this is acute. So I should start from A, B, C, and D. So A and C are obtuse. So in the given, we can write. ABCD is a parallelogram. The point X and Y are taken on the diagonal BD. Point X and Y are taken on the diagonal BD. So let's draw the diagonal BD. Before drawing point X and Y, let's read ahead where we have to take. Such that angle XAD angle x a d or you can say d a x and angle y c b a right angle since it is an obtuse angle so 90 degree would be somewhere here x a d x a d is right angle and what else it is? Uh, y C B. Y C B. So this is ninety. So we have this figure. Very important question because they haven't given us the figure. We have to draw it. How to draw? You have seen. Make sure you uh, read the question again and try to figure out yourself let's write the given part so we have d a x angle d a x is equal to angle b c y b c y is equal to 90 degree so since it is a par parallelogram this side equals to this this side equals to this this side parallel to this, this side parallel to this, all this information is given. We need to prove that XA equals to YC. XA equals to YC. So we need to prove that XA equals to YC. So we have the, uh, this triangle, this, this, this. We have to make sure that whatever triangle we take, that should contain XA and YC and some given information. So let's focus on DAX. So can we take this triangle and this triangle? Let's try to proof it in triangle d a x and triangle c b y one thing is angle d a x and angle b c y are 90 angle d a x is equals to angle b c y each equals to 90 degree and AD is equals to BC opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram we know that now what will be the third side or third thing which is equal Mostly third thing is tricky, but remember the hint. 
they have given us the parallelogram in a parallelogram there are parallel sides opposite sides are parallel so once they give you the parallel thing they expect you to understand this property when two sides uh, two lines are parallel we have alternate interior angles property or corresponding angle property so focus on that uh, those line as you can see this line is parallel to this and this is the transversal so this angle is equal to this angle so we got the third thing so we can say that angle d or you can say a d x is equal to angle c b y by alternate interior angle property so we have three things one is side angle angle side angle therefore triangle d a x is congruent to triangle c b y by angle side angle congruency criteria now what we need to prove is x a equals to y z that is by c p c t c therefore x a is equals to y c by c p c t c so uh, in the next question the uh, almost the language is same but you will see the difference in the figure we have a parallelogram a b c d before writing a b c d i'll wait here the side a b is and a d is produced so a b c d if i take or if i take a b a b is produced and a d is produced so a b c d so produce means extending a b is produced and a d is produced extending the straight lines so how much i have to extend that depends upon the information given let's see what is given over there uh, they are saying that um, that a b equals to b e a b equals to b e suppose this is 3 this is 3 so one thing is given this is equal to this and one more information is a d equals to d f so a d equals to d f but still this is equal to this this is the given information now you should write this thing given so we have this thing given so the given thing is first a b equals to b e second thing a d equals to d f but we almost forgot one very important information that a b c d was a parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram that in itself is a biggest hint that opposite sides are equal if this side is equal so this side is equal this side is equal to this so all three sides are equal and parallel also similarly so we need to prove that triangle BEC BEC is congruent to triangle DCF we need to prove that these two triangles are congruent let's see in first look we, it seems as if this is a straight line yes it is a straight line but it is not given so we will not take 
so unless and until it is given that it is a straight line they only said that ec triangle dec so i joined ec and triangle dcf so i joined cf it's not that ef is a straight line maybe may not be so to prove only thing is triangle dec sorry bec is congruent to triangle dcf let's move on to our proof section in triangle bec and triangle dcf so as you can see this side equals to this this side equals to this as ad equals to df given and ad equals to bc opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram therefore df is equals to bc first thing similarly similarly this thing uh, be is equals to bc second thing third thing is again tricky one but as i explained earlier also that if parallel lines are given chances are we need to use either alternate integer or corresponding angle property so let's focus on here let suppose this angle we have so this side is parallel to this side yes so this angle is also equal to this angle let's number this number one equals to number two by the property called corresponding property corresponding angle property now this side is parallel to this side so this angle angle two is also equal to angle this three why again corresponding angle property as you can see corresponding property forms a f whatever f it is <laughs> somehow it's written over here l f what kind of f if we turn it this it looks like a here you can see this is a f here you can see this is a f so you have to be uh, imaginative you have need to be very careful regarding this so we can say angle 1 equals to angle 2 angle 2 equals to angle 3 so angle 1 is equals to angle 3 we need to write this thing down how to write this let's see as ad is parallel to bc and ae is uh, transversal therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2 corresponding angles similarly angle 2 is equal to angle 3 therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 3 this is the third thing we have so I'm just using this space to finish this off therefore triangle BEC is congruent to triangle DCF by we have side angle side hopefully you understood the concept so try yourself all the best thank you for watching